Hey guys, it's Bro you Whack, and I'm gonna bring you another Grand Theft Auto 5 online tip of how to get $12,000 with this single mission and quite a lot of XP once you do do this mission. So let's get it started. So the first thing that you want to do in the loading screen is stock up on assault rifle, ammo, shotgun ammo, and sniper ammo. The reason for that is because you're gonna be sniping a lot, and if you're gonna be using the route that I use, you're gonna be using the assault rifle quite a lot. And what's good about this mission is that you only need about two people you could even do it by yourself but it's best with two people or three people or even yet better with four people because it's just a good teamwork mission and here we go the beginning mission I start off with my assault rifle that's my sword yeah it's my assault rifle uh, I'm pretty sure what you're gonna do is usually if you have two uh, two people or four people, either you and a buddy or just by yourself, you will run down this mountain and go straight to the van. The reason why you want to go to the van right away is because you want to get down the hill, and you'll be seeing why you want to get down the hill right away. But see here, I'm just gonna grab the van. I'm gonna get in, and my buddies right over here are gonna be sniping. Uh, because there are a lot of people covering the box, covering the ship that you will be using, and sorry for my bad driving skills, but you'll see why they will be sniping, because there are a lot of people throughout uh, this area of the map. So I'm going to be driving down this way. You want to go around to this area and try to land on the beach. Uh, you can land in the water, but it's best to land on the beach. And what you want to do is try to run towards the shore. This is like the best route if you are going to be using, uh, if you're going to be trying to go for the uh, for the ship or not because you want to get this box you want to grapple it and you want to get it as fast as you can so what I like to do is like to get on this box right here and look for people above uh, this stony hedge because I don't want to just go right in their face because they are pretty powerful they do have assault rifles and stuff like that so I just want to scope out try to find any enemies that's why you see me getting on top of this box and then what you want to do is try to get on top of the stony ledge and then just try to take out as many people as you can right around here this is where you like to pull out your shotgun because you are so close to them and see right there I had to use my shotgun because I'm just right in their face I'm like in touching distance of them and then right here there is going to be one more guy getting out of that um, aircraft carrier and then you want to clean up the rest of the people there are some people behind the aircraft so what you want to do is just try to use your AK to try to get them they are kind of tough because they are kind of hidden uh, behind the bushes and behind I think they're motorcycles right there you don't have to clear them out but it's just good and safe for you to take them out but be careful at the same time you can uh, hide behind this the aircraft to try to regain health as much as health as you can and during this time my buddies are sniping around the box area because after you get this aircraft what you want to try to do is try to get to this box this shipment whatever you want to call it as fast as you can and then try to take it out after you get this aircraft carrier, your buddies really don't need to do anything because it should be smooth sailing from here. All you really need to do is take down your grappling hook, which I think is right on the D-pad or something, or left on the D-pad, and then try to get this shipment. You are the only person that needs to get it, and then after you get that shipment, like I just did right there, it is home free. No one should stop you. The only reason why you should be stopped is if you somehow crash into, like, say, the mountain or whatnot. And I'm sure your skills as Tombs of Flying is quite good, is quite prestigious at this moment. So what you want to try to do is just go past these windmills and just keep flying and flying and flying. It doesn't really matter if your friends die at this point because it's just smooth sailing from here. And this is a really good mission because this is a mission where it's not too repetitive. It's not the same thing over and over, but it kind of is. But it's a fun mission. It's a cooperative mission. And that's what I really do like about this mission. And at the final point when you're coming Coming down to this, you want to try to get as low as possible, and all you need to do is just fly over it, and it will drop automatically, and you should get $12,000 and quite a lot of XP. That's why I like this mission a lot, is because it's fun, it's easy, fast, and it's just a good teamwork mission. So let me know what you think of this mission, and let me know if you're going to be using this mission, and I hope you this does help you out. Uh, just to summarize it, just go down to the van, go down to the beach, take all the people around the aircraft carrier get the aircraft area, uh, get the shipment, and it should be home smooth from there, and then fly as low as possible when you get towards the yellow arrow. So I'll see you guys later. Hope this helps. Just a quick little video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.